Meghan terrified. Thomas Markle to furiously drag Meghan to jail for concealing Archie and Lilibet. Thomas Markle has backtracked on plans to take legal action against Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, as he insists his grandchildren are not pawns in a game. Thomas Markle has pleaded with Meghan and Prince Harry on GMB to allow Archie Harrison and baby Lilibet to spend time with their grandfather. Meghan Markle's estranged father, Thomas Markle, has told Good Morning Britain that he will not be pursuing legal action to gain visitation access to his two grandchildren, Archie Harrison, and Lilibet Diana. Despite saying that several lawyers had told him of successful attempts by grandparents in the state of California, Thomas Markle stated that he did not wish to involve his young grandchildren in the ongoing feud between him and the Sussexes. When asked by Susanna Reid and Richard Madeley if he had considered legal action, Thomas Markle said, Yes, I have, I've been told by several lawyers that grandparents have sued to see their grandchildren and have won. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to involve my grandchildren as pawns in a game, they're not part of a game. They're my grandchildren. The 76-year-old former lighting director has not met either of his grandchildren, and aside from one phone conversation, is yet to meet Prince Harry. He had previously said during an interview with Fox News that he intended on taking legal action against his daughter and son-in-law, in order to gain access to his two grandchildren. Also during his conversation with Good Morning Britain, Thomas Markle shared a message to his two grandchildren to say that they came from two loving families. Whilst it is believed that Meghan shared a close relationship with her father during her childhood and adolescence, they have not spoken since her marriage to Prince Harry. Mr. Markle told GMB, I mean, I really can't go down, down to Montecito because I'll be pointed out as stalkers I can't do much about that. But my message for the kids is that they have two loving families, and their great-grandmother is the Queen of England. And I think that's important for them to know that they have two families and eventually they're going to grow up and they're going to want to know more about them. So we will see what happens. In the weeks leading up to the royal wedding in May 2018, it emerged that Thomas Markle had liaised with the paparazzi on a number of staged photographs. The images included him preparing for a tuxedo fitting and researching the history of the royal family in an internet cafe. Following the publication of the images and the revelation of his involvement, it was announced that he would no longer be attending the wedding and would be undergoing heart surgery near his home in Mexico. Meghan Markle's father also spoke on Good Morning Britain about the current status of his relationship with his daughter. Speaking from his home in Mexico, he called for an end to the feud between the pair, saying they both need to grow up. Richard Madeley said, if Piers were here, he would say she has a long history of ghosting people, including him. Once people's usefulness has been used up, she moves on and doesn't look back. During her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, Meghan Markle said the incident had been a betrayal. Since their rift, Thomas Markle has conducted a number of interviews where he has both criticized his daughter and pleaded for her forgiveness. He has previously accused Meghan and Prince Harry of cheapening the monarchy following their decision to leave the royal family. Meghan also leads a strained relationship with the rest of the Markle family, and neither of her half-siblings were invited to her wedding to Prince Harry. Her older half-sister has authored a book titled The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister, whilst her half-brother is currently appearing on Celebrity Big Brother Australia, where he has publicly criticized Meghan. Meanwhile, both she and Prince Harry enjoy a close relationship with her mother Doria Raglan, who resides near the couple in Montecito, who resides near